hey guys welcome back to my channel um if you haven't seen by the title of this video i'm going to be reviewing the kosas revealer concealer um this concealer is pretty new um i think it came out like last week um and then i saw a couple people use it and i'm like okay i need to get my hands on this um so i'm going to be doing a first impression and a wear test for you guys um i got this guy in the shade four i'm pretty sure the site says to get um the same color that you would be in the um kosas tinted face oil because i guess they're like the corresponding shade matches so i got the shade four in the concealer because i'm the shade four in the tinted face oil um i already have my skin primed and um i have like my sunscreen on primers all that i'll list whatever i use in the description box down below but i'm just gonna use um the kosas tinted face oil today with the concealer because they're supposed to go together so i want to kind of test and see how they work together um this is basically gonna be like a full face of kosas too might as well <laughs> um so yeah let's just pop right into this and slap on some of this uh tinted face oil and then i will show you the concealer okay so now on to the revealer concealer i'm gonna read off of the sephora website to tell you guys like the key pinpoints of what this concealer does so it says it's a medium coverage concealer an eye cream and a spot treatment all in one to reveal better looking skin upon application over time it's a lot of bold claims um so medium coverage radiant finish and it says skin types for normal, dry, combination, and oily skin. So I guess it's going to suit all skin types. And then the highlighted ingredients are Arnica, which is a botanical extract that supports skin's natural healing process. Caffeine to visibly brighten the under eyes. And peptides to support natural collagen. So I guess this is supposed to be like a... Um, it's supposed to be like makeup and skincare in one, which I feel is like a lot of Kosas, their like kind of whole brand is based around that. Um, so it's supposed to help kind of heal your skin and brighten it as you're wearing it. And so over time, you're supposed to have better skin. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to like test it out for you today because that's definitely going to have to be something that I'd have to test out for a while and update you guys on. But we're just going to go ahead and start applying it and I can tell you guys what I think after wearing it for a couple hours. So I'm just going to go under my eyes. Not going to do a whole lot because I tend to get a lot of creasing under my eyes if I use too much concealer. I have a lot of blue tones right here in the corners. I always have permanent bags but I do have a lot of like lines under my eyes so it always just naturally creases there so I don't tend to put a lot but I'm gonna use this in like all the areas I need some extra coverage just on like kind of all of my scarring areas and dark spots And I'm using this like I would with um, any concealer that I usually use, just to give it like a very fair test. Um, so I am, so I primed like I normally would, and I'm definitely going to powder as I normally would, just to really give it like a fighting chance to see how I actually like it. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend this out with a beauty sponge and see how that goes. So this is one side blended out with the beauty blender. Let's see if I can blend this side out with my finger and see which one I like better. I don't normally use a brush to blend out my concealer. It's usually either a sponge or my finger. So I'll do both and see which side I like better. So this is the side with the sponge. This is the side with my finger. I think I prefer the sponge side better because it still feels like there's like a lot of product 
on this side without using the sponge. And I only put like the tiniest amount too, so you definitely don't need a lot of this. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? Okay, so I will say that this concealer dries down pretty fast. So you definitely need to work fast. <laughs> so probably don't apply it all over your face like I did first and then blend it out. I would like apply in one area and then blend and then apply the next area and then blend. So I'm just going to go over some spots a little bit more just to see if I can build up the coverage. Um, I'm going to go back under my eye a little bit. If I can build this part up because this side this right here is always so purpley um I just have a lot of discoloration right there so I'm gonna try and see if I can build up some of these areas this is what it's looking like all blended out um yeah so it definitely did dry down to like a pretty natural I would say satiny finish um yeah it doesn't feel too sticky or anything like that but um it does look really nice it doesn't look cakey at all uh it doesn't look like it's too dry on any like of my like drier spots so so far so good um i am gonna powder though i always use the ilia soft focus powder yeah, it doesn't look like it's actually creasing under my eyes too much, which is nice. And I always just take my sponge and do it. So, oops, I think I put a little too much. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is what it's looking like now that it's set. Um, yeah, I will say it's a very natural finish. It did blend on top of itself really nicely. Um, and it is a really good color match for my skin. Um, so I would definitely listen to the advice of if you have the tinted face oil, get the same color that you are in the tinted face oil. Um, it was, I was scared it was going to be a little bit too light when I first applied it, but it actually blended in really nicely. Um, okay, I'm going to finish the rest of my face makeup and I will come back when everything is done. Okay, done with all the makeup. This is what it's looking like. Um, I have the Kosas, what is it? Um, Kosas 10 second eyeshadow in the shade Globe on my eyes. Testing that out for the first time. It's actually really pretty, such a pretty color. Um, and I just did some like light makeup. I have the um, Kosas Contra Chroma blush on. Tower 28 um, Magic Lip Gloss on, Ilia Eyebrow Gel, Honest Beauty Mascara, a little bit of bronzer, that's all I put on there. Um, I will leave all of the products that I use down below, but I'm just going to go on with the, about my day. It is about 12pm, um, I have a couple errands to run, going to go get my legs waxed. Um, so I will check in with you guys in a couple hours to see how this held up. Okay, we're back. Um, so it's now like 9.52, basically 10 o'clock. So all this has been on for a solid 10 hours. So um, this is what we're looking like. My eyeshadow has definitely faded, but we're not here for that. <laughs> but. If you wanted to update on the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow, um, definitely faded, but I also didn't use like an eye primer or anything like that, so maybe next time I'll set it with like an eye primer and maybe like layer or something on top of it, but it's not too bad. But anyway, so the concealer. So sorry, I have to use a ring light because it's clearly dark, but um, the concealer actually, so I'm gonna get a mirror right here. I actually did pretty good. It did not crease. Um, my mascara is kind of like runny on my lower lash line, but 
that's to be expected after like a solid 10 hours of wear um but everything else seems to be looking good um yeah nothing looks like super dry or patchy um yeah i would give this a pretty solid review um the concealer definitely held up well none of my like spots are peeking through too much um and i mean i probably should have checked in a little bit earlier before 10 hours but had a busy day just go back from dinner so i mean you know this is kind of a typical day of me wearing makeup so i would say for 10 hours this stayed on pretty well i mean the ones that usually like start creasing the most on me is under my eyes so i feel like if it can stand the test of being under my eyes for 10 hours without creasing it's pretty solid this on my forehead creases no matter what because i make so many faces so these lines right here are permanent i mean i cannot get away with not getting makeup creases right here because i make so many faces um but like the other spots that i put it everywhere else did pretty well so yeah um i'm pretty impressed this is what it looks like close up i tried to change the lighting so you can kind of see what it looks like in like regular lighting okay so um yeah i'm pretty impressed with this concealer i am definitely going to play around with it more um i mean you know just testing it out for like one day it's not going to do much i um am very curious to test this out with like my alia um serum foundation which is like a more um like medium coverage foundation and um testing it out with like a little bit more heavier makeup just to see how it layers on top of that and I also want to test it out by itself, like when I do like a nail foundation day of just like my Tula blurring primer and just like some bronzer and stuff like that. Um, I definitely want to test it out like that too. So definitely going to test out this concealer a little bit more. Also going to test out this um, Kosas 10 second eyeshadow again. I know that's like not what this video is about, but just wanted to throw it out there because I did use it earlier. Um, I mean, like, it definitely just faded on the side. But again, it's been 10 hours, so I feel like that's pretty normal. Um, so I should have definitely checked what my face looked like, like earlier. But I just kind of went about my day and didn't really get to check. So this is where we're at right now. But um, I'm definitely going to try this out again. I will update you guys on a later date. But... I would say for a first impression, this held up really well. So, um, yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys have tried the Kosas Revealer Concealer um, in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts about it. If you have tried it, if you guys have any questions about it that I did not answer in this video, leave them in the comments so I can try to answer those for you. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!